Was Jesus a hater? I was listening to Dennis Prager's radio show, August 13th, 2010. And uh, Dennis asked, were all the great moral thinkers of history haters? There isn't a single great moral thinker in history, of which I'm aware, who advocated same-sex marriage. There is no parallel to this. Every great moral idea has been advocated from the beginning of moral thought. The idea that slavery was wrong did not begin with the abolitionists in 19th century America or in England. <laughs> then uh, Prague wanted a great talk about responsibility in his happiness hour. He says that human nature aches for irresponsibility, but human happiness aches for responsibility. The more you're responsible you are, you are for your life, the happier you'll be. So interesting, two different 24-year-olds called in. And this one 24-year-old said she was living at home and her parents were kind of paying her way. This other 24-year-old had gone in the U.S. Armed Forces and he'd earned his way through college. And the 24-year-old sounded so confident, so happy, so assured. And the 24-year-old sounded so pathetic, and down and depressed. Dennis talks about when President Obama announced that kids can now stay on their parents' health insurance till age 26. His college students were ecstatic because they could prolong the age at which they were dependent on their parents for another five years. Dennis says if there was a student there who did not applaud, he was a happier student than those who did applaud. Who has more self-esteem? Kid who depends on his parents for another five years of health insurance or the kid who gets his own health insurance? It's human nature to not want to be responsible. It's like all these people who don't want to get married. They don't want to be responsible for somebody else. Marriage is first and foremost responsibility for somebody else. Taking responsibility for yourself and for others that makes you a happier person.